For now, I think uh, the second Simon, <laughs> Simon Lee M, we're going to have another exciting <laughs> talk to all of us. Uh, Dr. Simon Lickham is Associate Professor of Gastroenterology and a Wellcome Trust Senior Research Fellow in Clinical Science of the Wellcome Trust Center for Human Genetics in Oxford. He was appointed as the Director of Oxford University Center of Personnel's Medicine in May 2016. The CMP is an innovative partnership between the Wellcome Trust Center and St. Anne College in Oxford to undertake clinical student and public engagement activity regarding the inter integration of a biological and technology to tailor healthcare. Thank you uh, for your lecture. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. It's a, a huge privilege and an honour to be here in Macau. It's my first visit to here, but it's lovely to see old friends like Patrick and Isabel Huon. Uh, it's a real honour to be here with esteemed colleagues from Chinese University of Hong Kong and the University of Macau. It's a great privilege to be here, and thank you very much for the invite. Now, I am a, a clinician scientist, and, and uh, as indeed will some of my colleagues who are following speaking later. That's where I try to combine doing gastroenterology practice, I'm a gastroenterologist, together with being a lab scientist as well. Now, in Simon's orchestral analogy, he had the lab scientist playing the piano, and he had the, uh, the, uh, the endoscopist blowing on the trumpet. We try very hard. So, uh, I'm going to talk about a really exciting subject, I think. I'm going to talk about a really exciting subject, I think. Simon Travis is going to talk about a very exciting subject. If you want to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. 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 我們跟我會跟大家說癌症方面的個人化醫學 我們在試乎不同的病人,是我們去找或者給一些不同的療法給他們的,是試乎這個病人的身體的數據,身體的情況,或者是一些基因不同,是去給一個很個人化的治療給他們的。Gamjing 可以令到細胞增長的速度加快卵這麼生生得很快 
。我好多人亦都會問啦，呢啲個人化嘅醫學喺腫瘤科嗰度，其實係咪一種炒作咧？有啲人可能會問：誒、呃，其實臨床嘅效用用咗個人化醫學係咪真係咁大咧？係咪會值得我哋去花咁多嘅錢咧？我哋睇咗咁多嘅基因，花咗咁多錢去做一啲基因嘅測序，其實係咪值得咧？呢啲其實係咪一啲好富有嘅國家誒先至可以負擔到嘅咧？喺好多嘅國家、好多嘅地方，其實係咪真係咁適合咧？咁有啲人甚至乎覺得其實都係一啲嘅炒作。咁而我嘅睇法係，誒、嗯、就好似呢幅圖咁樣。咁而誒。嗯呃、我哋、呃、打直咧，其實代表咗誒呢個個人化嘅誒、呃、醫學技術係有幾、呃、多人去知道啦，或者提及啦。咁大家可以見到一開始誒、呃、隨住技術嘅進步啦，咁大家其實係、呃、一開始係好好好多嘅希望喺入面嘅，咁而好多人知道好多嘅希望。咁誒、呃、中間隨住嘅發展啦，咁呢啲希望可能係有啲嘅減退啦，有啲人誒、呃、覺得誒、呃、可能啊都唔係想象中咁好啦。咁但係有有啲嘢當真係發展到出嚟嗰陣時，呢、這個希望咧或者佢哋嘅預期咧又會提高翻啦。咁而誒睇翻個歷史咧，第一個誒。呃真係開始咗個人化醫學呢，其實係大概係二千年嗰陣時啦。而嗰陣時其實係誒、嗯、做咗好多嘅基因測序嘅技術啦，用咗基因測序嘅技術啦，去誒、嗯、將我哋。呃、人類成個基因係去、呃、定罪嘅。咁而誒、呃、隨住誒咁、呃、多人知道人類嘅基因咧，咁嗰陣時係好多希望啦，希望係誒、呃、我哋可以利用呢啲基因嘅資料咧，係去。嗯，帶動我哋嘅誒醫學啦，令到人類係更加健康嘅。咁而誒，隨住啲技術咧，嗰陣時誒，二零零一年嗰陣時咧，其實大家嘅期望啦，或者熱誠啦，其實係誒喺最高嘅一點嘅。咁而因為喺、呃、慢性嘅白血病嗰度咧，其實係揾到一個好特異嘅基因變異啦。咁而我哋係亦都誒、嗯、發展咗一隻藥啦，係用咗之後咧，係可以、呃、改變到誒呢、呃這個基因變異帶嚟嘅白血病啦。咁係可以將呢、這個、呃、癌症咧，係可以好好咁樣控制，係用咗一隻叫 g l i v i c 嘅藥啦。咁而、嗯、大家可以見到啦，誒喺呢個慢性白血病嗰度咧，係喺兩條基因嘅誒喺有兩條誒、嗯、基因誒染色體上面嘅基因啦，誒 ABL 喺誒、嗯、第九條染色體同埋 BCR 第二十二條染色體係誒佢哋係誒交換咗啦，咁而令到一個新嘅誒、啊、基因變異咗嘅蛋白。做咗出嚟，叫做 BCR ABL 呢個基因咁而正正係因為呢個基因嘅變異咧，係令到誒、嗯、人係有呢一隻嘅誒慢性白血病咁而因為呢個基因變異咧，咁啊，亦都做咗一隻誒藥啦，就係、是。Glyphic 嗰只藥啦，係可以好特異咁樣，好誒、呃、或者係好標靶咁樣，係去誒，係、呃、去誒撳住咗呢個基因帶嚟嘅一啲嘅誒發誒細胞嘅變化啦。咁啊，大家可以呢幅圖嗰度見到，喺正,、呃、正常有癌症嘅情況之下咧，有呢個 ATP 係會走咗入去呢個基因誒誒嘅一個、嗯呃、分子機制入面啦。咁呢只藥係可以將呢、這個誒、呃、位堵塞咗，咁而係
，令到啲誒、呃、細胞停止咗去誒、嗯、再分類或者係再生長啦。咁而你可以見到呢幅圖入面誒、嗯、有用到呢個標靶治療嘅病人，對於冇呢、這個用到呢個標靶治療嘅病人呢，係誒好多係誒。嗯真係幫到嗰啲病人，甚至乎有啲係好似痊癒咗咁樣。你見到以前未有呢隻藥之前咧，咁啊講緊話有一半病人可能幾年之內都會死嘅，咁但係而家呢隻誒變咗一個慢性病啦。咁但係隨住誒誒呢個誒、嗯、發展咧，咁啊發覺誒喺其他嘅。誒、um, cancer 啦，誒、uh, 未必係咁容易嘅。咁誒，而誒其中一樣最主要嘅原因咧，就係話好多嘅腫瘤入面咧係有個易質性嘅，即係話喺腫瘤入面咧有好多唔同嘅細胞啦。嗯，未必好似頭先慢性白血病咁簡單啦。咁而見到你可以見到呢幅圖入面，一個腫瘤入面咧，其實係有好多唔同嘅細胞，而啲細胞入面咧有唔同嘅基因變異嘅。咁可以見到就好似誒唔同嘅人種啦、唔同嘅動物種啦、唔同生物一樣啦，喺呢個腫瘤入面咧係有唔同嘅細胞嘅種類啦。咁係一個好大嘅唔同嘅細胞啦。咁就係好似誒。好似誒人類誒或者係誒生物嘅進化咁樣咧，咁呢啲誒腫瘤嘅細胞咧都係不斷咁樣進化啦，咁係一個好大嘅唔同嘅細胞羣啦。咁而正正係因為呢個原因咧，咁我哋喺好多藥嗰度咧係誒出現咗一個抗藥性嘅，因為一啲嘅藥可能係殺咗某啲嘅細胞啦，咁但係就冇死到嘅細胞咧，其實係會誒生長咗出嚟啦，咁而。誒、嗯、見到一個抗藥性嘅，咁譬如話好多病人食咗藥，一開始係好咗好多，咁由 A 去到 B 啦，咁但係就隨住抗藥性嘅出現咧，咁佢哋係誒好多都會再差翻嘅。咁而啲抗藥性有時候係可以誒、呃、出現得幾快啦，幾個月或者半年就出現咗抗藥性啦。咁譬如喺呢、這個、嗯嗯咁啊，譬如喺呢個例子啦，係一個惡性黑色腫瘤嘅例子啦。咁誒，係我哋知道有一個基因變異，係有個 BRAF 嘅呢個基因。咁因為咁樣咧，跟住用咗，譬如呢個病人係用緊即係 BRAF 嘅。誒、嗯、標靶藥啦，咁係好得意咁樣係誒、嗯、幫到呢個病人嘅。咁誒、嗯，但係你見到就係話誒，雖然佢一開始有進步啦，咁但係就因為誒、呃、出現咗一個抗藥性啦。咁而誒、呃，即使用咗呢隻藥咧，都係幫唔到個病人。咁最尾係誒個 cancer 係復發啦。咁而係誒。嗯個病人係最尾係差咗，亦都呢個藥幫唔到佢嘅。咁誒、呃，而另外一樣最誒、呃、傷感啦嘅嘢咧，就係話我哋揾一隻新藥，好似呢只咁，咁係用咗誒成個誒發展誒研究咧，係用咗二十億嘅美金嘅。咁但係就譬如呢個病人誒嗰、呃那個抗性只不過係用咗二十三週咧，就出現咗啦。咁呢個時候誒、呃，全世界對於個人化。誒、呃、醫學嘅希望呢係誒幻滅咗，而個熱誠呢誒係、呃、跌到一個最低嘅點。So. 咁而誒、嗯，我哋其後嘅研究知道啦，我哋誒即係抗藥性嘅出現咧，其實只不過係誒只藥殺咗一啲誒誒殺到嘅細胞，咁而佢一啲誒、嗯、殺唔到嘅細胞，好快咧就會走翻出嚟噶啦。咁所以就咁短嘅時間，亦都好容易出現咗一啲抗藥性啦。咁而誒、嗯，我哋係誒令到全世界對於個人化醫學嘅希望咧係誒幻滅咗啦。咁而
、呃、大家熱誠，你可以見到誒係、呃、降到好低嘅好低嘅嘅點。咁、嗯、啊、嗯，我覺得誒誒、嗯呃，似乎呢幾年有進步翻嘅。咁誒，而、嗯、家我覺得係喺誒戰嘴呢個位啦。咁而誒。呃未必係最高，但亦都誒未必誒過咗一個最低嘅點啦。咁而我希望係嚟緊用大腸癌呢、這個誒誒呢個例子係同大家講解個人化醫學嘅。咁如果我哋睇翻一個歷史咧，咁誒、呃、真係大腸癌誒嘅、呃、一個研究係驚嘅研究咧，係誒一九八七年啦。In 1987, the Simpsons were just、uh, we, we, we came out. There was a, another disease that was hardly understood at all. The first Kentucky Fried Chicken opened in Beijing. 咁誒嗰個時間咧，我仲係好細嘅時候啦。咁而誒嗰、呃那個年代咧，係誒呢啲嘢都係嗰個年代出現噶啦。譬如話誒、嗯、AIDS 啦，誒、嗯、第一個喺中國出現嘅誒、嗯、肯德雞啦。嗯 ，Simpson 嘅卡通咧，都系全部全部都系嗰个年代出现嘅嘢。咁、那、嗰个年代最主要喺大肠癌研究嗰度咧，就系、是、喺波麻教授啦。咁都系牛津大学一个教授揾到诶喺诶第五条基因体嘅 Q 嘅。上誒嘅嘅啱上面咧，係揾到呢、這、一個誒、嗯、位點啦，係誒係誒家族性嘅大腸誒、呃、息肉綜合症嗰度揾到呢、這、一個誒喺、呃、大腸癌入面好重要好重要嘅個基因啦。咁而誒四、呃、年之後啦，一九九一年啦。咁而誒係喺呢個第五條基因體嗰度咧，喺誒揾到一個誒好、嗯、準確嘅位點咧，係可以係誒、呃、令到有呢個家族性嘅大腸癌嘅。咁而喺同一年啦，亦都發現誒、呃、大腸癌入面好重要嘅呢個 Win 嘅送號通道咧，係誒俾人誒、呃、發現咗啦。咁而呢條通道喺大腸癌上面咧係非常之重要嘅。咁啊，而家知道啦，喺誒大腸癌入面咧，有六至到七成嘅病人咧，都係有呢個 APC 基因嘅變異啦。咁誒喺呢年入面咧，我哋係見證咗誒大腸癌基因研究好重要嘅兩樣嘢啦，就係、是、APC 呢個基因嘅發現啦，同埋呢個 Win 通路嘅重要性。咁而我哋知道呢個年代啦，誒、呃，係、嗯、誒，我係誒，仲係誒細個嘅時候啦，仲係年青嘅時候，誒、嗯、十幾歲啦。咁而呢個就係呢個年代誒、嗯、發生嘅嘢啦。咁之後去到一九九三年啦。咁啊，發覺誒、呃，除咗話 A P C 呢個基因之外咧，仲有呢一啲其他好重要嘅嘢啦。咁譬如話，先講 A P C 只係六至七成嘅大腸癌啦。咁但係就誒，亦、呃、都發現咗誒、呃，譬如基因上微衛星嘅不穩定性啦，對於某一啲嘅大腸癌係好重要啦。咁啊，發現咗 M S T H 二呢個誒、呃、基因啦，係某一啲大腸癌嗰度係好重要啦。咁亦都發現咗呢個 H N P C C 遺傳性非息肉大腸癌。嘅、嗯嗯、大腸癌入面咧有一個嘅基因變異啦，咁係同呢個誒、嗯、基因嘅修補係有關係嘅。咁啊，呢年誒倫敦係發現咗一個誒、嗯、一個爆炸啦，咁呢個 Jurassic Park 呢套戲係上演啦。咁啊，呢啲都係。嗰年發生好重要嘅嘢啦，咁之後去到一九九九年啦，咁而嗯係誒、呃、除咗話頭先誒 A P C 誒 Win 通路，或者除咗係頭先 H M P C C 嘅一啲嘅基因變異之外咧，咁大家亦都開始發現到呢、這個誒、嗯、C P G 位點甲基化咧，對於大腸癌亦都係非常之重要嘅。咁呢個係誒一個誒、嗯、表觀遺傳學上面誒非常之重要嘅嘢啦。咁啊，誒呢個係對誒大腸癌非常之重要嘅。咁啊
誒，咁呢年發生咗咩事咧？喺香港機場係誒架機誒跌咗落水啦。咁而誒嗰、呃、年出現咗誒、呃、日全食啦，亦都係有啲新嘅戲上演啦。咁呢啲係嗰個時代出現嘅嘢啦。隨後去到二零零四年啦。咁啊，嗰陣時發生咗啲咩事咧？嗰陣時誒、嗯、基因排序嘅技術誒、嗯、得到好大嘅進步啦。咁啊，揾到大腸癌嘅一啲嘅通路啦。咁亦都出現咗兩隻新嘅藥啦。咁呢兩隻藥都係一啲嘅標靶治療啦。其中一隻係 Setuximab 啦。而 B 得書嘅一隻誒係、啊、針對 EGFR 受體嘅一隻藥啦，咁另外一隻係叫做誒斯廷或者 Avastin 嘅一隻誒、啊、對於 VGF 嘅受體嘅一個標靶治療啦。咁啊，嗰年出現咗，嗯，東南亞出現咗一個海嘯啦。咁誒，亦都誒誒喺雅典舉行咗呢個奧運會啦。咁隨後嘅一個誒好大嘅發展係喺零七至到零九年啦。咁啊，發現咗腸入面嘅一啲。喺誒腸道嘅一啲幹細胞咧，咁發現咗 L G L 五呢一個標記啦。咁啊，亦都發現咗誒、嗯、用一啲嘅誒誒 GWAS 嘅基因技術咧，發現咗二十三個誒好、啊、重要嘅誒基因變異啦，喺大腸癌入面。咁亦都係有一啲新嘅誒、嗯、細菌培植技術發出現咗嘅。咁而去到二零一五年啦，幾年之前啦，咁我哋誒、呃、用咗基因培植嘅方法咧，係揾到大腸癌入面係有四隻唔同嘅。分子嘅細分嘅類型啦，咁而喺誒、呃、其中誒、呃、MSI 一類嘅大腸癌咧，我哋微衛星不穩定性誒、呃、大腸癌嗰度咧係誒發覺係可以用到免疫治療，係對呢啲大腸癌嘅病人咧係有幫助嘅。咁啊！一五年當然仲發生咗咩事咧？咁啊，出現咗美國同古巴開始重新對話啦。咁而啊喺巴黎亦都舉行咗一個氣候好重要嘅氣候會議啦。咁我係可以計到喺基因大腸癌基因嘅研究嗰度咧。誒喺零六年嗰陣時咧，出現咗第一個大腸癌嘅全基因嘅測序啦。咁係嗰陣時用咗三百萬個唔同嘅 PCR 嘅產物，然之後再將佢哋排序啦。咁啊，喺而家誒發覺，雖然嗰陣時做先係第一次做啦，咁但係十二年之後嘅而家咧，誒、呃、已經有超過四十萬嘅成全基因咧係誒排除咗啦。咁而美金一千蚊咧係已經可以排除到一個細胞裏面整一個整個基因，咁可以見到個誒、呃、技術發展係非常之快嘅。咁而我哋都希望將呢啲嘅研究帶到去臨床嘅應用啦。咁而可以見到，其實誒腫瘤係可以好唔同嘅，係有唔同嘅樣啦，可以係唔同嘅唔同嘅分類啦。咁啊，頭先提過話，譬如一啲嘅生物嘅信路通道啦，呢、這個嗯。係誒、嗯，每一個腫瘤都可能係有好唔同嘅、好複雜嘅生物通道啦。咁誒，基因技術係可以幫到我哋去分類嘅。咁啊，頭先亦都講過話誒、嗯，有誒唔、嗯、同嘅四類嘅。分子分類啦，咁啊，好可能佢哋因為佢哋有唔同嘅分子分誒、嗯、分類啦，咁可能我哋係需要唔同嘅治療先去幫到佢哋嘅。咁而呢啲同病人嘅誒、嗯、進度啦，或者係臨床嘅反應係都係好唔同嘅。咁啊，一啲嘅新藥啦，標靶治療啦
，咁而係亦都有一啲因為唔同嘅分子分類係有唔同嘅臨床誒分類研究啦，係希望係可以令到我哋誒達至喺大腸癌入面有呢個個人化嘅醫學啦。咁而呢個隨住誒。基因測序嘅價錢越嚟越平啦，我哋係可以做到好多嘅誒、嗯、基因嘅定序定位技術啦。咁我哋係可以成一個細胞嘅成個基因咧，去去定序嘅。咁譬如話，如果一個整個細胞去定序咧，只可以只需要係一千蚊美金。咁而如果我哋淨係睇我哋入面嘅 X 五咧，咁係個價錢咧係誒可以係更加平嘅。咁而我哋亦都多咗好多嘅誒、嗯、七罪嘅誒、嗯、資料庫啦。咁譬如話係我哋嘅誒見到誒、嗯、有好多嘅誒、嗯、大嘅誒資料庫啦。TCGA 係好多唔同嘅腫瘤，都係做咗好多基因測序啦，或者係呢個國際嘅誒呢個誒、嗯、基因測序嘅團隊啦。咁而除咗大腸癌之外，亦都係好多其他嘅癌症咧，都係做咗一個測序嘅過程啦。咁你可以見到喺唔同嘅誒、嗯、癌症嗰度咧，喺佢哋嘅基因變異嗰、那個誒、嗯、頻率咧，係都誒。嗯係幾唔同嘅。咁啊，譬如話喺肺啦，或者係黑色素腫瘤嗰度咧，佢嗰個基因嘅變異咧係好多、好常見嘅。咁而有啲腫瘤咧，可能係會少啲嘅。咁而隨住變基因變異嘅數目或者係頻率係好多嘅話咧，咁嗰個腫瘤咧係可以有時做咗好多唔同嘅新嘅蛋白啦。咁而啲蛋白喺有啲情況咧，係可以刺激到我哋嘅免疫系統。咁而呢啲係好多基因變異嘅腫瘤嗰度咧，因為咁咧，而好多時咧，對於一啲嘅免疫治療咧，係有更好嘅反應嘅。譬如話肺啦，或者黑色素腫瘤啦，都係一啲好多基因變異嘅腫瘤嚟嘅。咁而其中一個誒、嗯、最近誒、嗯、好。誒、嗯、好多人講嘅誒研究啦，係喺中文大學盧英明教授做嘅研究啦。咁喺舊年喺《新英倫醫學雜誌》發表過，咁係喺血嗰度測試一啲鼻咽癌誒、嗯、有嘅。誒、呃、基因變異啦，咁而透過呢啲血液測試係可以幫我哋診斷同埋誒揾到、呃、大腸癌嘅。咁而我哋喺呢度，我哋展望我哋嘅未來啦。我哋希望咧係真係可以做到個人化醫學。我哋傳統嘅醫學係喺上面嗰度，你可以見到我哋有批病人，我哋每一個都係用同一隻藥，但係喺有啲人嗰度。可能只藥未必咁適合啦，可能個份量太多或者太少啦，有啲人嘅反應可能唔好啦。咁所以，我哋幫到一個病人嘅同時咧，係好多病人可能係有好多嘅副作用啦，或者係未必咁幫到佢嘅。咁但係喺未來，我哋希望喺同一個病人，我哋可以用一啲嘅臨床啦，同埋我哋嘅基因嘅資料啦，我哋係可以將啲病人嘅分類啦，而佢哋可能有唔同嘅。分子分類或者唔同嘅病人組咧，係可以用唔同嘅藥藥，咁而可以令到每一個病人咧都可以受惠嘅。咁而誒、嗯，因為誒、嗯、個人化醫學誒喺、嗯、全球好多嘅地方都係希望去做啦。咁而，譬如美國嘅前任總統奧巴馬總統，亦都係花咗好多錢喺誒、呃、去發展個人化醫學啦。咁英國，我哋都誒誒、嗯嗯、做咗好花咗好多資源，係希望係喺呢方面誒、嗯、拓展啦，多啲拓展啦。咁而誒、嗯、有。呢、这個發展係有幾樣嘢係好重要嘅，咁第一當然係我哋嘅資源啦。咁誒、嗯、當然我哋基因排序技術嘅誒、呃、價格係誒、呃、越嚟越低啦。咁係我可以令到我哋做到更多嘅基因排序技術，係誒、嗯、可以係做一啲分子嘅分類啦。咁雖然呢啲排除嘅技術係需要用到錢啦，咁但係如果我哋可以係
幫到。我哋嘅病人，或者甚至乎我哋可以揾到一啲病人需要，或者唔需要一啲藥嘅話，我哋可以將啲藥更好咁樣用喺一啲我哋真係幫到嘅病人嗰度。咁其實係可以誒、嗯、到最尾係減低醫療嘅負擔同埋嘅需要用嘅資源啦。咁而第二非常之重要嘅就係希望可以係誒喺誒嗰個大眾嗰度都係可以誒。嗯誒誒，得到大眾嘅支持啦。咁當然有時大眾係有啲嘅誤解啦。咁，譬如話佢哋會有啲擔心啦，佢哋可能會怕啲係啲嘅炒作啦，佢哋可能會誒擔心佢哋嘅誒資料會唔會係誒俾人攞咗啦。或者點樣保護我哋嘅私隱啦，或者有啲人會擔心優生學嘅問題啦，咁呢啲可能都會係影響咗大眾對個人化醫學嘅一啲嘅觀感。咁第三當然好重要嘅就係病人嘅私隱啦，咁因為有啲病人可能會擔心佢哋嘅資料俾一啲嘅公司啦，包括一啲保險嘅公司啦，或者藥嘅公司啦，咁係濫用咗啦。咁誒，呢啲都係我哋需要去考慮或者擔心嘅問題。咁呢度講話，誒，咁呢個醫生同佢講話，雖然我哋冇你嘅同意啦，誒，但係我哋誒可以喺好多途徑去揾到你嘅資料嘅。咁呢啲嘢都可能係令到病人係好擔心嘅。咁第四啦，當然就係話喺誒發展一隻藥中間咧，係需要好多研究啦，同埋好多嘅資源啦。咁而誒、呃，譬如而家嚟講，誒、呃、每一隻藥咧都需要係九至到十年啦，同埋需要可能去到二十幾億嘅資源先可以發展到一新藥啦。咁呢個係一個好漫長嘅過程。咁呢啲都係我哋需要去考慮嘅。咁誒、嗯，最後啦，咁我亦都做個總結啦。咁啊，基因嘅排序技術係喺過去嘅時間係做咗好多嘅進步啦。咁而個價錢亦都係少咗好多啦。咁而呢啲呢，係可以令到我哋有好多嘅醫療發展啦。咁而最尾希望係可以誒、嗯、令到我哋對於一啲嘅病啦，或者有更多嘅認識啦。咁而從而呢，係可以幫到我哋揾到更一啲嘅新藥啦，係可以幫我哋分到，可以點樣去去幫一個病人先至係最好嘅。咁但係中間當然我哋需要係大眾嘅支持啦。咁亦都誒、嗯，其中誒、呃、最後喺呢度想誒、嗯、多謝我哋嘅支持我哋嘅一啲嘅。基金會啦，咁而冇咗佢哋咧，我哋係從事唔到誒頭先嗰啲嘅研究啦。咁誒係好多謝呢啲基金會嘅支持。咁而誒同時啦，我哋都希望係希望將呢啲信息啦帶到去社會嘅大眾啦。咁所以我哋亦都做咗一啲喺誒大眾層面嘅一啲嘅推廣或者嘅一啲講解啦。咁希望係大眾更加認識到我哋醫學。同埋生物醫學嘅發展啦，咁而佢哋嘅支持咧係非常之重要嘅。咁啊，最尾我都希望多謝何鴻森博士醫療拓展基金會啦，咁係誒令到我今次有機會係同大家分享我哋嘅研究啦，或者我哋嘅睇法啦。咁啊，非常之多謝基金會啦。咁啊，今次可以嚟到澳門，咁啊，亦都誒有咩問題可以隨便問嘅。咁啊，喺呢度做一個總結啦。Hello， 誒 ，thank you for a great presentation。I'd like to ask a question on a personality medicine, not for cancer therapy, but for cancer prevention. Yes. Because what is your opinion in say? Screening for cancer risk, and then using that knowledge to personalize preventive care, like using evidence-based health supplements to reduce the risk of occurring cancers in a later time. 
I think you touch on a really important subject. So if, if, if our drug development in cancer is lagging behind, our drug development in, in preventative medicine is lagging even further behind, I'm afraid. But I think you're absolutely right. We, we now have, a, in, I'll take colorectal cancer as an example, uh, we, we now have a, a, a wide range, some 50 or so genomic variants that we know are in the public that we can test for with tests that cost about 30 US dollars. So we could test everybody for those genomic variants. And with, those, with the people that have lots of them, we could start to think about whether or not they should be having some specialised targeted chemo preventative. The problem is, is that we don't know what those targeted chemo preventatives are. Uh, and as I say, if, if drug development in cancer lags behind, we're even further behind in that. But I think you're absolutely right that there is, a, a, there is the potential for the future potential for understanding predisposition and how that may help to target um, health advice in the future. The, the, the point I must make is that each of those, each of those SNPs, each of those co common predisposition variants carries with it a tiny, uh, a tiny risk, so between 0 uh, and 1% usually, a tiny risk of cancer individually. It's when you have lots of them together that it becomes a slightly more powerful predictive test. But I'm sure that Professor Donnelly will talk a little bit about uh, predisposition and variants as well. But I think it's a really important subject. I suspect it's probably down the line of... Um, of, of trying to identify proper targeted therapies then. I'd just like to share with you also that's something we've done in Macau. Uh, actually, we've recently have, uh, done a, a pilot study in genomic screening for cancer's risk uh, in, a, in a several thousand patients, and uh, that has been uh, reported and accepted by uh, Nature. So, uh, Fantastic. Fantastic. Which cancer was that, Professor? No, this is... Uh, 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 it's it's a screening for uh, about 30 cancers using gene SNPs. That's hugely exciting. So many congratulations. Simon, once again, a great talk. So one of the crazy and terrible things about cancers is that they evolve. And as you said, they accumulate more and more mutations. Why is that? And do they accumulate mutations faster than somatic cells? Yeah, that's a great question. So, uh, yes, they do accumulate mutations faster than somatic cells, mainly because they're dividing faster than somatic cells. So the, the mutations that, go th that, uh, that start the cancer off make, often give that cell a fitness advantage. It divides faster or it damages its DNA repair mechanisms, which means that the accumulation, the sort of the rolling stone, gathers pace. So I would say, yes, um, cancer cells probably do accumulate mutation faster than normal cells, but normal cells do accumulate mutation too. Too. And we see that if you sequence normal gut, for example, you can see the, um, uh, the, uh, the, we can find mutations present. What's very interesting and alluding back to Simon Travis's talk is that in inflammatory conditions, of course, that's, that, um, uh, that accumulation mutation in normal tissue is faster. So where you have inflammation and repair, your normal tissue will pick up more mutations too. But cancer, you know, cancer is, I think, is evolution in, uh, you know, that you can see, you can almost see. It's, a, it's a, to some extent, a beautiful thing, but also a very frightening thing. So then would anti-inflammatories be useful to manage cancer? Would and are they? So, um, uh, and Simon and Sue may be able to help here. I mean, there is, there is some evidence that if you can, you can uh, cause mucosal healing, so you can, you can in the IBD, for, again, for example, inflammatory bowel disease, if you can get the mucosa to heal and not to have this cycle of inflammation repair, inflammation repair, that your cancer risk is lower. So inflammatory bowel disease is associated with cancer when it has sustained, prolonged inflammation in a widespread fashion. Uh, thank you, Professor Liam, for such a fascinating talk. Thank you. Um, based on the current uh, personalized medicine data, um, are there any patients that are not suitable for immunotherapy or T-cell therapy? And if there are, uh, what would be uh, the effective ways to combat cancer evolution in these patients? So, so immunotherapy is really obviously is, is, a, is, a, is, the latest, is the latest trend. It's a fantastically exciting uh, thing. Certainly, and again, I will come back to my field if I may, because I think colorectal cancer illustrates this. Um, immunotherapy is only effective in hypermutated, microsatellite unstable colorectal cancer. That makes up about 15%. It's not effective, and this was a trial in New England Journal, it's not effective in the, in the other 85% uh, you know, of microsatellite stable. 
stable cancers. So we're going to have to think again. For, when, for the tumours that we have where immunotherapy is effective, it's proven hugely successful and very exciting, and I think will evolve further. Combination therapies will be the next thing we'll see. But in the ones where it doesn't work, we've got a whole new load of biology to unpick. Okay. Uh, I think uh, we have to catch the timetable. Uh, well, thank you, thank uh, you. Uh, Dr. Leeham. And uh, I, I believe that this is a very good, uh, good, good uh, sharing. As people, people have a good time and bad. Uh, uh, we go up and down. It's quite normal. Uh, but I do believe that uh, we cannot. Uh, I cannot uh, spend two billion in in twenty three weeks, and nobody could do that. So everybody talk about how can we do prevention using the concept of the precision medicine. Of course, uh, this will raise up another uh, problem that like. Uh, a very famous uh, example, Angelina Jolie. Uh, she took uh, the opportunity of uh, precision medicine to find out she may have uh, breast cancer. Of course, uh, she made a personal uh, decision uh, to perform a bilateral mastectomy. Of course, uh, she will not have uh, breast cancer no more. And you talk about um, uh, the, the, the gen genotyped library, isn't it? So in the future, Hopefully, if we, we can use the precision medicine for prevention disease, uh, this may be an, an outcome. Uh, but as a matter of fact, if everybody have a genotyped uh, 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 record uh, in, in the data bank, maybe in the future, uh, if we want to get married to meet a friend, a girlfriend, a, a boyfriend, and then, well, I, I, I'd like to know uh, your genotype will, <laughs> you know, I think this is an ethic uh, problem rather than uh, scientific, but I don't, well, stop the timetable no more, please.